Welcome back to another Anime Kingdom Reviews. It's about Ted below. Yes, this is on episode 0 of Seikano Season 2. And pretty much just like how the first season went, episode 0 was a huge fan service episode. I mean, last for last season it was at a hot springs. This time we get, you know, at a pool with swimsuits. And I gotta say, I did like the hot spring one a lot. But this one, in my opinion, was just like 10 times better um, of the fan service. Like literally, the poses that they had in this first part of the episode and the the angles like they were super suggestive I was just over here like hmm yeah that's pretty damn hot I have to admit like literally all the girls Uzaha was beautiful as always uh, Michiru looked really hot um, you know Izumi was there as well Megumi looked really good Eddie looked good as well I mean sure you know she may lack in the Opai department but it does not matter all the girls look good to me um, for me you know opai is life though so yeah i would have to say utaha like I, I never mentioned this before obviously because i never did a review on the first season but if i had to pick my favorite girl and it's not just because of their body even though utaha does have an amazing body but utaha is between two people either utaha just because i just love the way she looks she's beautiful and everything but i just love her personality i love the crazy things that she does and Especially when she gets into that writing mode and she starts pretty much being like kind of possessed of the character. It's always funny to see those those kind of moments. I don't know why I was like those, but yeah, those kind of moments. And then my second favorite, or maybe it's kind of it's hard to put one over the other. It would definitely have to be Megumi. Like I don't know, I just love her in every part that we see her. It's just like so out there. Like the other girls are like literally these characters that you see all the times in other animes. That's why I love the beginning part of this episode where they were pretty much just kind of like, you know, NED was trying to support the anime. You know, obviously Seikano and um Utaha is pretty much just like dissing like, oh there's no plot, there's nothing like that. There's there's you know people just like it for what it looks like and stuff. And I mean it's kind of funny because yeah I mean the whole first season I mean I did like the story and everything but it was really just like the you love the characters, you love the fan service that is in it, and that's why this episode did a good job. Because no, I mean, yeah, sure, the fan service was really nice, but overall, the second half and everything else, it was just a good, you know, great way to reintroduce all the characters and reintroduce what the main plot is, of course, obviously, which is of course making the game, and showing like how much they've kind of progressed in this episode, um, in the whole season overall, and where we're pretty much being placed in the second season. So honestly, it was just a really overall enjoyable episode. I mean, if you love fan service, if you love, you know, lots of hot girls in swimsuits, you're going to love this episode, obviously, because I definitely did. And overall, it was just nice to see all the characters again after, you know, for me, it hasn't been that long. I know it's been quite a while for you guys waiting for the second season, but for me, obviously, um, if you didn't know, I literally just jumped into, like, I saw season two is coming out, so I was like, I've been mean to watch this for quite a while, so let's do it. So I watched it like several weeks ago, and I absolutely loved it. And I honestly cannot wait to see more of it for season two now that it is coming out next week with episode one. And yeah, overall, just an awesome way to bring everyone back into the Seikano world. Um, I mean, the best way to bring people back in is to, and you know, reintroduce all the characters is, of course, show, you know, all their quirks and everything, showing them doing their kind of the same things that we saw in season one to Tomoya and everything, and, you know, pretty much showing their passion for the game. But come on, you cannot deny the fact that showing a shit ton of fan service like they did in this one um, is not a, it, it's an awesome way to start the season, if I say so myself, but yeah that's all i really gotta say guys hope you guys enjoyed this anime kingdom review i know this one isn't really that long in comparison to a lot of my other reviews but i mean this episode it literally like i said it was just huge amounts of fan service um and a great way to reintroduce what's the main thing they're doing with the game and everything and reintroduce us to you know all the characters after it's been quite a while for you know a lot of you guys not for me obviously like i said since i just watched it like several weeks ago but overall um, I can't wait to see episode one, which I think, yeah, it's a week from now, so 
Mark down your calendars, guys. I honestly cannot wait for that to come out. But yeah, that's all I got to say. So if you enjoyed this anime kingdom review, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And if you did enjoy it, feel a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. And until next time, guys, see ya.